In this uh, module 7, we'll be looking at material properties. As far as material properties concerned, inside your CAE, Computer Aided Engineering Analysis Protocol, this is one of the key element which directly can give you the direction of your analysis. That could be any shape, that could be of any assembly or part uh, modeling uh, interface, or that could be a single product. But a product design, you cannot analyze until and unless you do not have the right kind of material configured to it. So in this uh, particular chapter, we'll be looking at the material properties. And ap apart from that, we'll be looking at different types and properties of material and material properties and material properties, how you can create that also we'll be looking at. And next, we'll be looking at one project how we can apply this. And if you look at this particular material property uh, creation, couple of things which uh, comes directly to my mind, the material type controls the material properties used for the analysis and the material properties have to be applied to model for the analysis to run. But primarily, if you look at the material, it is starting from the isotropic, orthotropic, and anisotropic. These are the three different types of material which you can have. And isotropic is the homogeneous material which is most common and we use in analysis. And orthotropic is directional dependent material property where when you talk about x direction, or when you talk about your y direction, or when you talk about your z direction, it is having a specific Young's, Young's modulus in that direction. And also the Poisson's ratio, which you have maybe mu1 and in this direction mu2 and in this direction mu3 and among these, there will be a least value and there will be maximum value. So you'll be having a minor Poisson's ratio and you'll be having a major Poisson's ratio. And you'll be having a shear modulus as well in this particular case. And in case of anisotropic, this is nothing but it can say a composite layers where you have numbers of layers sandwich where you can specify your material condition. For example, if you look at this particular model, here you have layers of material where the properties are independent and they are different. And this could be property number one, property number two, three or four, just like your sandwich this is the composite case where you have the layers and layers where you have different properties. And the material properties you have to apply to your model before any analysis. And as I was discussing about different types, the type of material used in a part must be known to obtain a reliable finite element analysis of the part. And as I was discussing, an isotropic material is the most commonly used material type and is a material which has the same properties in any or all the direction. For example, mild steel. This is the best example which you can see or high strength steel or maybe aluminum. Aluminum or maybe high strength steel etc. The most commonly used material in automotive parts or maybe in aerospace all are isotropic material and other available material types as I was discussing about the anisotropic different properties in each direction and orthotropic dependent properties as it is orthotropic 90 degrees or you can say orthogonal. So when you go for this ortho each 90 degree will be having a different properties protocol and which uh, are typically used for composite or laminated with uh, oriented fibers. Fluid material types are also used for 3D meshing of volume for fluid or gas in flow analysis. In addition, the effect of temperature also on the material properties may be considered. Also the thickness of material controls the stiffness and strength and must be known if you are using 2D shell mesh condition as well. These are the special conditions. And as a part of material properties, you may be wondering what all to consider. 
if you see this material properties so fundamentally couple of thing which you have to know which are very important one is your young's modulus and second very important point which is nothing but your poisson's ratio and the third very important option is the density and some of the additional parameter you need as well known as shear modulus and also some other properties of thermal like thermal coefficient and thermal conductivity thermal coefficient and the finally thermal conductivity so these are the properties which you need to define before proceeding so material types control the material properties at certain point on the model and the most common types which you use are of isotropic and these properties when you create are added to the mesh and where you can see the various material corresponding to different cases so let me show you how you could able to configure this different types of material like orthotropic isotropic or maybe a typical type anisotropic which i was talking about and corresponding different properties which i am talking here that how you could able to define let me show you those particular dialog box and control so that you can have a clear cut overview let me explain you this particular material properties so from your exercise folder you can use this uh, particular file for our reference this particular file so that i can quickly show you how you can assign or create materials and also in our coming uh, projects we are looking at that this uh, steps are very simple but you need to understand the technical aspect of that so you no need to worry about it so go to application and go to design and here you need to configure your properties as well and once you configure that you will be prompted with this particular dialog box for fem and simulation model just accept this and once you accept this your ca simulation this window will come and solution type also you accept but primarily here i am focused at assign material and when you explore this more option here you can see the manage material also if you go to manage material here you can see like when you select a particular material maybe aluminum let us say and here you can see the inspect material and here you can see preview and here you can see the properties of that material also and here you can see this create material option so i'll be investigating some material properties and then i'll deep drive into this create material option as well let me inspect this aluminum and if you look at this particular option what are there so categorically you can see this aluminum type is shown here the mass density and also the temperature properties and young's modulus variation also are plotted and poisson's ratio in a tabular data format and also the yield strength etc so here are the bunch of data which you can get with respect to the specific heat etc let me show you if you double click this or directly you go for this inspect what happens is this isotropic material dialog box will appear because this material which is configured is nothing but a isotropic type so how can you configure isotropic orthotropic or maybe anisotropic type and before deep driving into those category here category is metal and type is aluminum and here you can see the mass density and also under this mechanical properties you can see this young's modulus poisson's ratio shear modulus as well and its corresponding unit system at under strength you can see the yield strength and ultimate strength and other properties under durability you can also see the fatigue strength and cyclic parameters and on under creep also you can see the properties associated with that and also under thermal 
thermal expansion coefficient and thermal conductivity and specific heat as well and also in miscellaneous properties you can see and viscoelastic like the fluid properties because this aluminum having no viscoelastic or maybe other properties for that you won't see that but let me show you if you would like to create a new material how the dialog box looks like and here you can see this particular dialog box where the description also you can put it and here you can see if you reset this here you can change this name as well and you can give your description etc i'll just cancel it and again i'll cancel this or you can close this let me go to this assign material where you will learn how this material whatever you are selecting you can apply to your object and once you apply this here you can see the type is isotropic orthotropic or maybe anisotropic and if you go to a particular type orthotropic let us say and you go for inspect material that particular configuration will be assigned and in fact we have not applied here so if you go to a create material here the orthotropic will be shown and rest of all will be blank so that the mechanical properties here you can see the yield 1 and yield 2 because that is typically the orthotropic and also yield 3 because three directions are there and accordingly all the material properties you can set like in mechanical or like in thermal also you need to configure your corresponding properties and then you can save that this one way and the other way which you can use is if you go to this particular manage material here you can see the new material option under this new material you can also select the orthotropic and when you create that will directly take to your orthotropic or if you go for isotropic and create material you will be directly inside this isotropic so that you can fill your values what is the young's modulus for that new material or if you want to refer any existing material also is okay what you can do is you can go for a copy and when you go for a copy here you can give your new name maybe i'm going for test and under this test once you go for okay here you can see this particular material local material will be shown and if you want to change this property and go to edit the orthotropic properties are allocated and now that material is no longer existing because you change that property so just like that if you want to keep that particular properties and you need to go to inspect you can also see this default properties of that particular set material and also corresponding properties which you need to set so best way is to create your material and select the type and directly go to create material give the name or if you want to change it and you can put your description also and fill this form and go for ok and this is the way how you can create your material and assign that to this also if you have assigned your material how you can check that is one important aspect and directly that you can check from your information and here you have bunch of different information and you can check the mesh information here you can see all different options available here like the part assemblies and other and so on so here what you can do is you can directly check for the summary here and here whatever the material assigned will be listed and that you can see from the mesh summary and if you go to more you have bunch of different information here you have the mesh information once you go to mesh information and you select it so because this is not meshed so i couldn't select so you go for the mesh apply this and this will be updated and you can now check that whether the material is applied or not that you can directly check without going to any other option and once you verify and you can move to the next step for assigning boundary conditions loads and other conditions as well so let me show you how you can do once this meshing is completed here you can see the status also it is running 69 percent because this element size i have selected very small one so because of that it is taking time 
once uh, this is done you can cancel it and now if you go to more and go to mesh information and select this and go for ok here you can see different informations and also the solid information you can see and here you can see the material information as well here you can see the material no material assigned this is the proof that we have not yet assigned any material let me show you once you assign material how it looks like and maybe this I'm applying to this body apply and now investigate by going to mesh information and select this and see the difference and now you can see this particular material is assigned so this is the best way how in a complex model where you have multiple materials how to investigate and how to know this is the handy quick information which you can use in our coming session we'll be discussing about the project how to handle